Hey, this is Allie Edwards, and welcome back to December Daily. Today is day seven for 2019. Um, I am doing this a little bit later than I normally do, but I wanted to include a story about Simon's Eagle Scout project, which was yesterday, the kind of activity portion of the project. And if you guys remember, I'm working off the back side of this full page photo. I did a photo across two spreads. Uh, so this photo is going to go on the back of here. I had originally for day seven had a pocket with tags in them that I want to put each person in our family their picture on it and have them write down what's bringing them joy. But all my people aren't here. <clears throat> so I'm going to save this one for a different day later on in the month and we'll come back and revisit that one on a at a time when I am able to take photos of everybody because I decided I did want to take new photos of everybody. So I'm thinking about Simon and this Eagle Scout project. I was laying in bed this morning before I got up and I was thinking okay what's another way that I could work on top of a photo and so what I decided to do this time is create a pocket and this is a piece of plastic transparency I'll link it for you guys below it's called graphics it's not super um, super uh, thick but it's just right and so what I'm planning on doing is creating a pocket that will live basically in this section well I'm gonna have to cut it first to kind of see where it makes the most sense. And then I have journaling that's gonna go on, it's gonna be cut out, and then this is gonna go on the other side of the journaling, and it'll have some sort of um, sentiment or something on the front there. So let's start out just by cutting this picture. I cut this to the same size that I did the other day, which is basically, I think it's like seven by four and a quarter, something like that, and we're going to just use this as the base. I did a variety of photos that I took of Simon yesterday, but this one shows him kind of in the leadership position, which uh, is a big important piece of um, the, the Eagle Scout project is being, you know, showing leadership to your troop, which is really cool. And I know he was pretty nervous about that. So it was awesome to see him in action. So I'm basically just gonna take this, we're gonna adhere this on the back couple of these kids are probably get cut off there, which is okay. Um, let's see which way do I want it to go? Probably this way. I'm just gonna go ahead and adhere this down. Gotta always have extra adhesive. Okay. All right, and now I'm going to just trim around the edge, following along with the curve that created yesterday, the day before, whatever day that was. All right, I'm gonna trim a little bit right here too. Punch the holes using the power punch. Okay, then we have a little bit of a better idea of how this is gonna fit into the album itself here. Um, so again, I wanted to make a pocket. My journaling thing, it might end up being a little bit too big because what I want to do is make a pocket that fits right here. Actually, it could go along the bottom. Might have to rethink my, you guys saw the other day where I did the slit, right? That was one way to add in a pocket there. Um, let's see, what else could I do here? Because I think I'm gonna just try to make this a little bit smaller little thinner so it will fit right there. My idea is that I'm going to put this on here just with some brads like using these little star brads just to create a little pocket where it would slip inside. Um, there let's try we'll try that. Another thing I could do is take this card and have this be some kind of a flip out. This is a tag 
where it could get added in here. I also thought about using one of, actually using one of the envelopes, um, which could totally work too for day seven, just to have that be, um, have the journaling that would go inside of the envelope itself come out there. Okay, let me think for a little bit more and then I'll pop back on here. Okay, after thinking it through a little bit, I decided to bag the um, pocket idea because it just wasn't gonna fit in the space I had available, which is totally fine. So what I did instead is I decided to print out um, the a, a card, like a, you know, basically a journaling card that would go right in here. So this is part of this story. I made it four and a quarter tall by three. Um, so that it would be the same height as hit that. You could easily just take your um, a journaling card, but since I was printing it out, I had more flexibility in what size I wanted to make it. Um, and I justified it a little bit over so that I would have some space to be able to punch the holes. I'm still hopeful that that is <laughs> the correct space. Let's see. Yeah, that'll be good because it won't hit the words. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Uh, and then what I'm also doing is I'm just kind of deciding that I'm going to flow it right into uh, day eight. And just I'm going to do these two videos and days together because it makes sense in terms of how I'm working on it right now. Um, so for day eight, I'll show you just a second. I have one of those big um, wood words. And let's see. So I'm, I'm not done with this page yet. I'm just kind of talking about this. So this is going to go in here as a journaling card. The back of it is a photo of Aaron putting up our Christmas lights. So that's going to get um, trimmed to here. And then I'm going to have the eight. And then on the back of the eight, I'm going to do another photo that I think, anyway, we'll see if this works. It's a photo of one of the cats out with the Christmas lights. And I'm kind of hoping that I can fit this on the back here and basically we're just going to try it. It might be that there's too much, the cat is too far off of there for it to make sense. Um, anyway, so this is what, this is kind of what I'm <clears throat> thinking at least initially is putting this photo of the cat behind here which basically entails cutting this out. I mean I could Maybe I should do it like that. Let's just see what happens. I'm kind of going back and forth between these two days and this this may actually be how many of you um, are working at home too depending on when you work on your projects. I know that some people like to do it <clears throat> or only have time to do it on the weekend or some of you are doing it you know way later and others of you are kind of doing it along with me. Um, so it's always nice to kind of have additional time to focus in on whatever you want to do in the project for yourself. Okay, I want to come back to that part in just a second. So I'm just using little scissors to cut around the outside of this and we're going to see what the photo ends up looking like when it covers up the eight. Uh, a couple people noticed if you're using the eight for this day it would be great as a snowman. We don't have any snow here right now so it's not a, I don't, I don't need a snowman right now. If it was snowing, I would totally be like, yes, yeah, snowman. Um, but it's, it's not. So we'll do a cat and lights, Christmas lights instead. So I am still needing, I think what I'm going to do for this part, which is a little trickier, is I'm just going to trace it uh, with a pen and then I can come in and, and you could do this, you know, with the whole thing, trace it first and then um, cut it. I just decided to cut it first. But mainly I want to see is, does it look really funny? Like, is it, does it, does it not make any sense to have a picture of the cat there or what in terms of how it gets cropped? But let's just, let's just see how it looks. I got, I was able to get most of the cat in there in the end. And obviously you could do any kind of thing. You could do powdered paper on the back of it. You could do, you know, whatever makes sense for your story. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna leave that in there because I like how that, <laughs> that looks. It's very representative. And then I'll probably put some little story right in the center there. Um, so let's, let's go back to day seven. 
I'll trim this picture of Aaron putting the lights up. It was super exciting because he we bought new lights this year and they're all white. So the the wire is white, the bulbs are white, um, which looks pretty pretty great on the all white house uh, out there. So and it was totally raining, so I'm definitely thankful that he was out there making that happen. Let's see how I know that this one's a little bit shorter. I think we'll go start from there. Okay, so now we're going to adhere these two back to back. And then punch holes. And I still want to put some sort of embellishment or something over here. I just haven't decided that yet. We're, we're, I'm basically looking at a lot of the foundational things first. And then we'll go back in in terms of embellishment adding after the fact. Okay, so let's punch holes here. And that was a little bit taller, which is fine. Basically, it's going to be something like this, right? That the eight will be back in there. This will be part of the eight story, which will kind of kind of go over like that, talking about lights. And so let's come back to this one of Simon and figure out what can I do, kind of how can I add something on here that would be support the story that I'm telling there, some sort of, you know, story that's not... It doesn't have to be totally Christmas related because this is not necessarily a Christmas project um, or not necessarily a Christmas page. Let's see. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to look through my embellishments and see what I have that I could use on something like this uh, and then I'll jump back on here. All right, so here's a look at what I am deciding to do. I just picked out a few embellishments. At first I kind of thought, well, maybe I'll make this into another you know, a, ta a tag where there's a, um, you know, ribbon coming out of the edge. And then I thought, I looked through my other things and I was like, ah, what else could I use? So I'm using a star from the chipboard, uh, one of the chipboard bundles. And then these other two metal pieces here are, um, are Tim Holtz. Tim Holtz uh, tokens, or I'll have to look up the actual name of them. Um, they're fun for adding on as tags, of course, um, but they're also fun to just add on to the page. And I kind of like the combination of, um, you know, one of them that's saying always believe, which is great for stories about Simon for sure. And then the idea of making magic, because that's definitely what is going to happen when he takes these Lego boxes to the school. Um, and presents them to them. It's going to be really a really fun thing. So I'm just using glue dots to adhere these on here. Just I picked the holiday magic one and the always believe and just adding that on. I also pulled out Mickey Magic over there and I'm thinking that I will put that on on here too and then I can still punch holes through that part right there. Let's see how that, kind of thinking that it could just go right on here and it would still be fine. You could still read it even if it has holes punched through it. Just pulling off the protective film there. I'll probably just staple it on. Actually, I could just punch holes right where it goes and then it could also turn in the album, but I think I'll probably connect it my fingernails are really short. Okay. Yeah, so I'm thinking like just even like right there. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And then punch the holes. Let's see if I even need to staple it on there. I'm not sure if I will or not. So 
that's fun. I mean, even if that one just turns on its own, that's kind of a fun thing to have it do. Uh, okay, so there's that. I also, the last thing I was going to do is these, I have these puffy stars, and I was thinking that I would add two of them. This kind of makes it like a, a turning thing. I think I did this somewhere else, if I remember right. Let's see if I can line it up the same. So this, you know, rather than using like an Avery index tab or something like this, I can use these. See if I can get the right, there we go. And then it becomes a piece of the, of the turning page. And then I have the blue too, kind of the blues matched here like that. Um, it's not perfectly organized on there, but that's good. So there's, that's gonna be day seven. Um, I didn't do any other numbers on here, I just have the date on there, which I think is fine. And then this will bring us over into day eight with the lighting, the lighting of the house. And I think, let's see. Let's see if we have this in the right spot. Close enough. I'm pretty much just going to, let's see, I probably want to wait to adhere that. I need to, I'm going to do a little bit of journaling that'll fit inside that circle. So I'm going to measure it. And we'll put that in there first. That's about one and a half. Let's see, 1.75, actually 1.75. So about a 1.75 circle. So I'm going to go do my journaling and then I'll come back on here. All right, so I used Illustrator to add a text inside of a circle. I'm pretty sure that you can do that in Photoshop also. I just, Illustrator is what I generally use. So I did it with, in a gray type and I'm basically just gonna cut it out so that it fits behind there. And I think I should be able to punch it with a circle punch, even though I don't have one that's safe. Um, I don't have a 1.75, I don't think I have that size. But I probably have a two inch. I know I have bigger ones down here. Let's see what I can find in my, in my punch, punch band. This one should work. I think this is a two inch one. And I just, it's super simple journaling on this one is like basically, yay, we have light. We have lights. Okay, so this should be able to fit behind here, just like that. So I'm gonna actually tape that behind there with the tape that's not where it's supposed to be, of course. Could just use a little bit of washi tape to the rescue. Let's see what. It's really fun. I really liked working with these wood numbers. Some, something different and fun and kind of silly. Okay, so just adding that on the back. This other piece is gonna get adhered on there, so it doesn't really matter if it's if that other one is exactly right. So let's fit this in place there, basically. And then I'll add some other kind of embellishment uh, on here too. Basically, a lot of what I'm doing here is just building, right? You're building upon some sort of a foundation and then going from there. All right. Then I can come back in here and there's a couple spots where I can trim it just a little bit with those little scissors again not super important, doesn't really matter. It's all white too, you can't really see it that much, but trim a little bit there. All right, so, and just a reminder too, I mean, what I did on here was I embossed using a star stamp, um, embossed on there to get all of the little stars on there, which was fun, that's something that I did um, in advance of December prepping the foundation pages that was one of the things that I did so that when I came to today then I wouldn't that would be one less step that I was doing 
Okay. So let there be light. And I'm kind of, I kind of want, I don't know if I have a tiny, tiny star that would fit there. I'm wondering if maybe I do here in my, in my actual s star. I mean, even like that tiny little blue one right there. I know I have some tiny wood. See, even that one's too big. It needs to be able to fit into that space. How about this one? That one might work there. Put some of that pen adhesive on the back. And then this is one of the pleather pieces too. That one was actually sitting there, sitting on top of a plastic piece that I had added in um, to be able to hold it there. Cause at first I wasn't sure if I was gonna have transparencies or you know have it be a transparent thing going through there, but that ended up working out just fine. So we've got Aaron working on the lights. We've got the little story of the lights there. We've got Simon's story on the seventh. Working on the lights, we have the cat on the back. The cat needs something. <laughs> this cat needs a lot of things, actually. Uh, let's see, so we gotta have some, we need some kind of embellishment on the cat. He's just gonna be, obviously, he's just kind of the back of day eight. He's not, you know, day nine's gonna be a different story. Uh, but I was looking at, I mean, even just some word phrase stickers. or some combo of them. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And, oh, there's one that says naughty or nice. That's kind of funny. Just put a few on here, let's see. I think I'm probably just gonna add one of each color on here. The white and the green and the red. It's kind of exactly the same size. And deck the halls will work just right because that's what we were doing. So let's see if I can try to trim it. This is an eyeball trim. <laughs> Super simple. Okay, and that looks good then kind of going into the colors that I have in the next day for day nine. You can see kind of the mix of all those colors that I created using the fabric pieces or the fabric circles there. Okay, so let's do just a quick recap since I did two days in one here. Um, we've got Day seven, so Simon's Eagle Scout project. So just a little bit of details about that with pr the journaling printed about four and a quarter by three there, leaving some space for the holes, used um, two stars back to back. That becomes like a little place for your fingers to grab there. Moves into the eight, we've got um, day with Aaron putting up the Christmas lights and then the photo of our cat George, some word stickers. Uh, word phrase stickers on the top that will move us into day nine. So that's a look at two days there, day seven and day eight, and we'll see you back here again soon.